Ice cream. Hey, Andrew, what do you get when you mix the musical grease, okay. ASAP Rocky streetwear aesthetic, and a classic American ice cream shop? You get Morgan Stern's finest ice cream. They've got a cool streetwear interior, Sundays named after popular rap singles, but most importantly, delicious ice cream. Let's, Let's check, check it, it out. David, why do we have two fistfuls of ice cream? Because, Andrew, we are at a super hip ice cream shop, which means that we must try all the flavors. Okay, okay. I have burnt honey vanilla with pretzels on top. And I've got bourbon sesame with honeycomb on top. A lot of crazy flavors that I haven't had before, but they sound good. This definitely has bourbon in it. Oh my goodness. They need to check your ID before you order the bourbon sesame. Can I get a chase? Don't, don't turn red on us. Never in my life have I even had toasted honeycomb, let alone as a topping. Definitely get the bourbon sesame if you're over 21. Considering that was just a vanilla cone, man, it's got me excited for the other ones. The variety of flavors that they have here is pretty crazy. You get to make your own. So basically right here, I have Madagascar vanilla, which I have no idea what that means, with some sweetened walnuts on top. Yeah, I've got the Vietnamese ice cream with the fudge on top. I'm trying two tones of vanilla. That's like, two different types of white people. This was really good. Morgan Stern, right. you've outdone yourself. Dave, I'm kind of learning the technique of eating an ice cream cone. Is this, is this the right way to do it? How does Kanye do it? We're at a Hype Beast ice cream shop. You better eat it like the ultimate Hype Beast Kanye West. Yeezy Tommy. They do got a flavor called New God Flow. Check that body, body, that uh, body. Uh, they're actually playing all the actual original songs that rap songs sample. It's pretty good, but I prefer the burnt honey. I would say this is one of the best Vietnamese ice creams that I've had. It tasted a little bit too much like coffee. They didn't put the chicory. Ah, where was the Café du Monde? Man, so between the bourbon ice cream and the Vietnamese coffee ice cream, man, you have just got the... I'm drunk and buzzed. Oh! I've got the chocolate. I've got the smooth strawberry. Now, David, these are pretty standard ice cream flavors. What can you expect might be different? They look like they're made out of plastic. Yeah. These look like the Japanese, you know, those like plastic trays. They do yeah. it like tempura and like curry to show, like this Yo. looks like a fake ice cream cone that you would get in a, a child's place that did. Maybe you perhaps sing into it for karaoke. I believe I can fly. It looks smooth. Hey man, this one got no acne, it's smooth skin. It used proactive for a month before this. I don't mean to call it out, but Botox. You know what's different about this strawberry ice cream, this smooth strawberry? The strawberry flavor is actually a lot more tart than usual. I can really taste that citrusy vitamin C that all the strawberries have. So it's real sharp. It's not subdued by the cream. I think for me, it's all in the texture. I can definitely tell that this is an elevated version of that like traditional Americana chocolate ice cream flavor, which I appreciate. I just want something that tastes like an elevated version of something they serve at a buffet. This is an elevated version of buffet ice cream. Final verdict, I ain't mad at you if you get the simple flavors, but Go with something a little bit more complex. Coming up next, we got the two salty flavors. I got salted chocolate and salted pretzel. Look like some, uh, some eggshells. Oh yeah, I was gonna say butts. Whoa, that was really soft. Whoa, this tastes like a salted pretzel with caramel. All right. When the ice cream starts to melt, you gotta lick it at an angle. Geometry. Ah. A lot of people who eat here like Big Sean because he's not scary. A lot of people out here would deny that they like Macklemore, but they do. Everyone who eats here likes Kanye. For sure. For sure. Final verdict, uh, I would say, you know, for me, I don't hold grudges too much, you know, I let things go. I'm not a salty person. If you really like chocolate and you want to switch up from the norm, get the salted chocolate. I don't know about yours, but uh, they weren't playing around with the salt content. Let me just tell you that. If you're like one of those people who likes to brush the salt <laughs> off those pretzels you get at the mall, hey, don't get this. For these special flavors, I got green tea pistachio. And I've got zero milk from the cow's udder. I don't even know how to describe it. It looks molecular, son. Like neutrons and electrons and all that. There's raw milk. It tastes like the milk popsicles I used to make when I was a kid. I say it's a little plain. It's almost like what that look is like before any flavor. Green tea, I'm not crazy about it. It's cool. I like to change up with the pistachio in it. But that's not a matcha green tea. Oh, they didn't say matcha green no. tea. No, matcha green tea is a specific green tea extract. Yo, 
I'm down with the matcha. I think they're missing a little matcha in this. In the more funky flavors, I got what they call here at Morgan Stern's the black as licorice. And I have the banana and durian. And may I tell you, there is definitely durian in this thing, man. Woo, woo, woo. You can do it so many ways. You can take away the stank or you can lead a stank. Oh, trust me, they left the stank here. Let me tell you this, a lot of kids, now I'm talking about a lot of kids, do not like black licorice. Younger people wouldn't be repulsed by this. Maybe they wouldn't reach for it first, but they would not reach for it last. I'm gonna tell you straight up, man, this one's delicious. I really like banana ice cream, and you know, durian's not at the top of my fruit list, but it does a good job blending with banana here. Final verdict, I still personally don't like black licorice, but that is the best, most consumable, accessible version of it I've ever had. If you are gonna come here and only get one ice cream cone, I think the durian and banana is not a bad choice. Okay. All right, David, we had all the ice cream flavors, but now it's time to move on to the sorbets, or sorbets, as people who don't know how to say it, say it. In my hand, I have the mango sorbet. I've got a strawberry lime. Now, David, before we get into this real quick, what is the difference between sorbet and ice cream? A sorbet is ice-based. Ice cream, ironically, is cream-based. Oh. You're more in a mood for something more juicy. The oftentimes, these are made with real fruit juice. I, mm. Ooh, ooh, that's straight. You feel that, too? Mm. You do that? The tanginess. I've had mango puree before, mango pudding. It's kind of like that. This has really strong mango flavor. Listen. If you like yourself some mango, get this one. It almost tastes like a Mexican fruit pop. Like, I don't know, we used to go to this place in Kent, where we're from, growing up, called Carpinito Brothers, and they oh. used to have those, like, frozen fruit pops from Mexico there, or, like, the Caribbean, or one of those two, and then it tastes like Yo! That. Bro, you just look like Draymond Green at the press conference when he throws up for, like, 20 seconds. In my hand, I got the raspberry sorbet, and I've got the black currant. Now, black currant is a type of berry. A lot of people don't know about it because it sounds more like like a, a thing in a river. Right? It sounds kind of like a storm. Like the yeah. black currant is yeah. about to hit yeah. the North Shore. I heard that this is the last one they're ever serving. They are discontinuing black currant, and this is actually the last cup. Oh man, tastes like some medicine. I can see why they took it off the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I'm not gonna lie, this raspberry one is super tart. Black currant, good riddance. Yo, I gotta try the black currant just because you felt so strongly about it. Yo, that kind of tastes Asian though, like in a bad way. Yeah, get out of here. I got the chocolate sorbet. I, I did also uh, have the regular chocolate ice cream, if you guys remember from about uh, a minute and 30 seconds ago. I'm interested to see an ice-based chocolate. Melted fudgicle. I can see that. A melted fudgicle. Yeah, not my it's, good sir, would you like to try? Actually, I have my own crazy idea. I was gonna do a mixed fruit cocktail. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Got all four in there. Quite good, it's like a fruit punch. All right, Andrew, we have worked our way through Ooh. the world famous Morgan Stern's finest ice cream shop. To me, only in New York City do you find a spot like this, and it's dope to see. I definitely thought the ice cream was still a notch above what I normally have, so it works out. I think Morgan Stern's is a place that has delicious ice cream, but it benefits heavily from social media. If you look at the setting, it's really nice to take pictures. I saw like 40, like 15 people Instagram their ice cream while we were here. The colors are great, the shape is awesome. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching the trendy hype beast version of ice cream at Morgan Stern's here in New York. If you guys need to take some IG pictures, you better come here. <laughs> and they also got delicious ice cream and sorbet, lots of cool flavors with lots of cool names. Still my favorite, first one, bourbon sesame. I'm standing by the durian banana, although I didn't have all the flavors you had so maybe I would have liked one of those. Alright you guys thank you for watching in the comment section below make sure you number one let us know what your favorite flavor of ice cream is and number two if you could make up a new flavor of ice cream what would it be? And number three why don't you name another classic thing like ice cream that could use a little bit of trendy hipsterization. I've never seen a hipster pretzel or bagel shop. I've never seen actually a hipster chashio shop. Oh. Everybody, thank you for watching that Fun Gross Food Express, and until next time, we're out. Peace. Yo, I, I know what, what their new one of their new flavors is. It's a citrus flavor, and it's called Alexander Tang. All right, you think of one. You think of one. You think of one, man. Beyonce's lemonade. Sore Beyonce. Easy one. ASAP Rocky Roll. Okay. Okay. One last one. Ice cream flavor. Wu Tang Flan.
or as the French would call it, Wu Tong Fong.